Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, African Bijimba. Yes, I'm your host, Jessica Kalombo. And today I will be actually talking about some of the African values that were found within and among African nations. Our values are always kept a secret and they we falling within the word Bijimba, which is also part of this channel and part of the upcoming magazine which will be released along this year. Bijimba were a way for people to use secret, valuable secret, which were for healing, creating miracles, and at the same time to guide and lead nations living within Africa. Today, we are about to bring all those values in a way to rebuild a strong Africa, in a way to connect our Africa as one, and at the same time to give hope to the future generations. Speaking of also Bijimba, Bijimba also was Wait. that healers would come together, healers from various nations will come together in a way to discuss how they could save their nations or they could heal their nations and they would share some of these secrets in a way that the whole Africa were going to live united, healthy and to live also happy and successful in everything that they were doing. We're calling to all those, again, who are having these values and who are having these secrets to come forward and to come and share with the world. Last year in 2022, December, I actually attended a Pan-African event which also aimed in uniting African nations. And through this uh, actually uh, panel, I had an opportunity to share a few words on how we can come together as African uh, uh, nations and this could be under the collective elevation the future or resilience for future African children and I do invite you to just watch a little bit of the conversations and what we were talking about. We have to say thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to hear from you and uh, to bring at least some of the knowledge because uh, I think for us to have a united Africa we have to hear from our own and uh, in doing that, we have this platform where we can also give such an opportunity to be, you know, given to everyone else. My question is, uh, which of the seven Kwanzaa principles would you say are most instrumental in relation to today's theme, which is collective elevation, resilience for Africans' future? Um, I think... An idea of communalism is not say. The idea of communalism is something that um, resonates with me because um, I I teach a lot, and because of that, I have to have a spirit of communalism. Um, I have this gift of teaching. I have knowledge that I want to give. And I don't think it would be possible if I didn't embody a spirit of community. And I think that that's the most important principle that I look to when it comes to what I do and when it comes to interacting with other people, I think. Thank you. Greetings. Okay, mine will be three. It's Umocha, it's Uchima, and Uchama. Umocha, which is unity, in which is one of the things that we actually lack at Wamnyama. Uh, we lack Kakulu because in this day and age, Abanyabantu that we are supposed to actually, which is Funde Google, they will say they prefer Utini. Colonization is better than coloniality. Uh, within a state that is Pilavu, so we live in within coloniality. And the coloniality is colonization is the order of the day. Yes. So, Ujima and collective work and responsibility, we need to actually uh, 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 unite. And when it comes to actually economy, uh, when it comes to economy, economy is all about people's uh, relations and how our relations as black people, our relations are not actually good. So we need to actually unite and when we unite, our economy will actually prosper. Thank you. Today's discussion from my side will be based off three things. One being unity, purpose, creativity, and also add the, one, the last one, which is faith. Um, but let's start with unity. I think there's been too many issues, especially from the past, to, to break us, especially from a tribalism perspective. 
and that has somewhat dismantled how we are able to, to rise again, especially for the young, um, because I'm an advocate of the young. Um, but once we're able to, to merge through the issues of each other's tribe and just seeing each other as humans, I think we'll be able to, to navigate better and build better. Um, what is the next one I highlighted? Creativity, purpose and creativity, Nia. Purpose, I say purpose because there isn't enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've heard and you've learned a bit of what was shared at the Kwanzaa, at the Pan-African event, which is called Kwanzaa Celebrations, which took place here in South Africa. Yes, Kwanzaa Celebrations is an event that unites also all African nations to come together and celebrate. The Kwanzaa Celebrations is actually a celebration that promotes the seven principles which were found among and within the African nations, which were guiding and leading them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Next time we're going to share another interesting short story which will be also to help you to reconnect with yourself, reconnect with Africa as a, a continent and also to learn and have an opportunity to understand what we are called to do and uh, what we can do in a way to live our life, our social lives successfully. In the next video, actually, I will be talking about more of this collective elevation, the short video which we uh, introduced to you, the topic which was presented at the Kwanzaa celebration, the Pan-African uh, event, which was the Kwanzaa celebrations. I will be going in details uh, um, about this. And if anyone is willing to join me on the panel and share more words, please do contact me so that I may get hold of you and we may actually be able to present this to all our African nations. Thank you so much again for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe down below and to ring the bell every time you come in to this channel, African Bijimba, which is here to unite and which is here to recreate hope among and within our African nations. Let us not practice the xenophobic practices for they separate us, they divide us. We are here to unite. Let us unite one Africa, one voice, one mission, one vision and one goal. Yes, until then, bye.